This is chapter two of Coraline by Neil Gaiman. The next day it had stopped raining, but a thick white fog had lowered over the house. I'm going for a walk. Don't go too far and dress up warmly. Yes, mom. Hello, Caroline. Rotten weather. Yes, Miss Spink. You'd have to be an explorer to find your way around this fog. I am an explorer. Of course you are, lovey. Don't get lost now. Coraline continued walking through the gardens in the gray mist, always keeping in sight of the house. After 10 minutes walking, of 10 minutes of walking, she found herself back where she started. Ahoy, Caroline. Oh, hello. The mice did not like the mist. It makes their whiskers droop. I don't like the mist much either. The mice have a message for you. The message is, don't go through the door. Does that mean anything to you? No. They are funny mice. They get things wrong. They got your name wrong. They kept saying Coraline, not Caroline, not Caroline at all. What shall I do? When do you go back to school? Next week. <laughs> I suppose I shall have to get you new school clothes. Remind me, dear, or else I'll forget. What shall I do? Here, draw something. Coraline tried drawing the mist. After 10 minutes, all she had was a blank piece of paper with mist written on one, written on it in one corner. Hmm, very modern, dear. Coraline crept into the drawing room and tried to open the old door in the corner. It was locked once more. She supposed her mother must have locked it again. Time to visit her father. Go away. I'm bored. Learn how to tap dance. Why won't you why don't you play with me? Busy working. Why don't you go bother Miss Spink and Miss Forcible? Ring arr, 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 arr. Oh, it's you, Caroline. Angus, Hamish, Bruce, down now, lovies. It's only C Caroline. Come in, dear. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Anyway, April, as I was saying, you still have to admit there's life in the old dog yet. Miriam, dear, dear neither, neither of us is as long as we were, is as young as we were, sorry. Madame Arcat, the nurse in Romeo, Lady Bracknell, character parts. They can't retire from the stage. Now, Miriam, we agreed. Coraline decided they were having an old and comfortable argument. The kind that can go on forever if both parties are still willing. I'll read your tea leaves if you want. Sorry? The tea leaves, dear. I'll read your future. You know, Caroline, you are in terrible danger. Don't be silly, April. Stop scaring the girl. Your eyes are going. Pass that, me that cup. Oh, dear. You are right, April. She is in danger. See, Miriam? My eyes are as good as they ever were. What am I in danger from? It didn't stay, say, tea leaves aren't reliable for that kind of thing. They're good for general, but not for specifics. What shall I do now, then? Don't wear green in your dressing room or mention the Scottish play. Coraline wondered why so few of the adults she had met made any sense who they thought they were and who they thought they were talking to. You must be very, you must be very, very careful. I have something that may be of use. Miss Spink began to pull things out of a small jar. There was a tiny china duck, a thimble, a strange little brass coin, two paper clips, and a stone with a hole in it. For you, what is it for? It might help, they're good for bad things, sometimes. Coraline put on her coat and said goodbye and went outside. The mist hung the blind, like blindness around the house. She walked slowly up to the stairs to her family flat and then stopped and looked around. In danger? It sounds exciting. Not a bad thing, not really. And that is the end of chapter three. I hope you'll come back. I mean, chapter two, sorry. I hope you'll come back for chapter three. And goodbye.